of the Orbiter Challenger and the sixth flight of the Space Shuttle. The shuttle has cleared the tower. This has been a CBS News special report. This is CBS. Space Center, on behalf of our resident expert, astronaut Gordon Fullerton, thank you for joining us. Further details, as I say, tonight on the NBC Nightly News. Good afternoon from Cape Canaveral. You know, it's always exciting to get that first glimpse. Uh, outer space is still a little bit mysterious to most of us. That camera's located in Northern California. Uh, it's a long-range camera. We ought to be able to see the contrails uh, uh, of the chase plane pretty soon now. That's our first real identification to be able to uh, then from there see the, the Challenger itself. There it is. Range 30 nautical miles, 60,000 feet altitude. Velocity 1,250 feet per second. One of the reasons I, we can now see the Challenger uh, on that camera, of course, one of the reasons for this, uh, uh, this long-range video is to document uh, this part of the entry that we can see from the ground. It's significantly important to the, uh, to the control and the, and the further use of the Challenger. Well, people have started there we pointing. Have the we chase have plane. To, there it is. There's the contrails of the chase plane right overhead us. We can see it. Uh, it's not quite on we your screen. There is Challenger. We There's ought to get that sonic view. boom. Get ready for our standard double boom. This Challenger the crowd is coming is back home. pointing and shouting. I think they're seeing the chase plane rather than Challenger at the moment. Range 20 nautical miles. Sonic Buffett, we've been waiting for it. Roger, copy that. You're right on your energy. This flight well, is everything been... looks good here, right? Couldn't look better. This... Looks the same down here, PJ. Velocity down less than a thousand feet per second. There she is. Three thousand feet altitude. There is a Challenger big wide pole. smoke trail behind it. West manual open on landing gear ISO valve number two. There's our boom. Right on cue. Hello, how are you today, Charlie? Doing pretty good. You guys are looking good. Thank you, sir. The sonic boom got a big cheer here. This flight has been right down the pike in uh, aviators talk uh, since it began, and uh, this entry has been near perfect thus far. Now there's a wonderful shot of Challenger, a much better profile. Coming in Please right down the pike is the turn around the heading alignment circle. You intercepting the hack, you're right on. Photo chase pilot uh, Charlie Justice is tagged up with the spacecraft. Getting a good picture now from the rear seat camera. The hack is the heading alignment circle, which Gene was describing earlier. That big, wide turn Challenger will make here. Altitude. Now he is truly flying, uh, flying the bird like like an airplane. Uh, he's banking in that long teardrop curve to line himself up with runway two. Manual uh, pitch and roll mode. Manual, of course, means that Paul White's is totally controlling the aircraft uh, uh, manually uh, and flying it where he wants it to go. We're getting a perfect shot of it from here, and the, the visual shot, the people here are ecstatic. And we see Palm Lake Edwards being the sun below us there. Sir, probably a lot of sailboats out there today. They were commenting here about all the water that Paul Whites can see that's uh, surrounding the runway. We got the hot camera on. Gene, you were that's mentioning great. earlier, it's uh, like landing on a, eight, on a carrier. 220, right down the runway at 18 knots. I'll see never if you still have the close same point. That's a firm. Mm -hmm. 14,000 feet altitude. What a pretty picture she is. You know, this this time they've painted Challenger's name uh, on the uh, rear Still of the plane so they can identify it from the air. Not confuse it with Columbia. Seven miles to touchdown. And in Paul Weitz is still flying it uh, manually at this point in time. He's got an option of going in the automatic mode if he's so desired, but uh, he is still 10, holding on it manually. 10,000 feet above the lake bed. There, look at that wonderful shot right from in front. Coming right down at him. You again can almost feel her presence as she comes home. What a majestic bird. And Paul is doing a fantastic job.
That is as steady as a rock, Gene. It's not even moving in this wind. Lynn, you said I'd uh, brought all six of them or five <laughs> of them in. I sure wish I had. This is as close as I guess I can come. What a sight. There it is coming across the end of the lake bed. The chase plane is, is like a miniature dot next to it. The landing gear, of course, is the next major event we'll be looking for. I guess she's about 300 feet above the ground at this time. About uh, 300 miles an hour yet. Uh, as here comes the landing gear in plenty of time. Absolutely parallel with the ground. He's headed it right into the wind. Keep it coming on down, Paul. He's about ready for touchdown. Look for the dust. What a sight. Touchdown, and what a roar from the crowd, Lynn. Perfect landing. There it goes. Challenger is back home. And what a sight. The unofficial touchdown time at uh, five days, zero hours, 23 minutes, 42 seconds. I think they were a few seconds off, but I but uh, <laughs> we'll accept that at this point. Of course, they took off eight hundredths of a second late, I believe, too. So it doesn't you know, all really All that matter. weight in fixing the engines uh, sure pays off in the end, doesn't it? Now we have to wait to see how long it will be before they come out of the spacecraft, now that they've actually uh, brought it home, got it down safely. Unfortunately, I think they'd like to uh, to get out quickly and uh, kick the tire and uh, and sort of exuberate. We'll stop that. 32 past the uh, this minute. The, the final test uh, that was conducted here was a braking test. Uh, we couldn't see it too well from here, but uh, Paul Weitz was to apply maximum braking for a short period of time to see the response of the braking system because, you know, next time uh, we hope we see Challenger come back to...